Hi, it's Mr. O'Sullivan. I'm just going to show you how to use Desmos to make fractions. Uh, some students messaged me today, email Google Classroom, saying that they weren't sure how to convert it from a decimal to a fraction using Desmos. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real fast. Um, the first example from your independent practice today was to convert negative 290 degrees to radian measure. So to convert to radian measure, we simply multiply by pi over 180. Um, I forget who said it, but in one of the noticings or questions, a student wrote, so we don't have to write pi when we do the calculation. No, you don't write pi at all because you want a pi in your final answer. I want this pi to be in my final answer, and I want a number in front of it and a number below it. Well, not necessarily below it, but typically we do have a number below. So. I go to Desmos, go to Desmos, and what we're going to do is we're going to simply type that calculation. So we're going to type in negative 290 times 1, because this is really a 1 pi, over 180. And I get negative 1.61 repeating. The thing is, I said in the video that I do not want a decimal, I want a fraction because fractions give us exact values. Huh? If you attended the extra the extra help session that was thrown today, um, I briefly mentioned, and I also mentioned yesterday, depending on who was there, I mentioned that the reason why we like things in fractions is because they are an exact value. They don't lead us to approximate. They allow us to know exactly what the value of something is. So here's the issue. I have negative 1.61 repeating. I don't expect you to know that fraction off your head. But if you zoom in on Desmos, there's this little thing right next to the number one. If you click it, it turns it into a fraction. So my answer is really negative 29 pi over 18. Um, but you actually really don't need to do negative 290 times 1 over 180, because you know anything times 1 is itself. All I really have to do is negative 290 divided by 180. I get the exact same decimal pattern, hit the fraction key, and I get negative 29 over 18. Uh -huh. And I get the exact same answer. Let's do one more example together. I now want to convert 970 degrees to radians. So I do 970 times pi over 180. I go to Desmos and I simply do 970 divided by 180 or 970 times 1 over 180. I get 5.38 repeating. Again, I don't want that decimal because it's an approximation. It's not an exact value. So I hit the fraction key. Hit the fraction key. And boom, I get 97 over 18. So I get 97 pi over 18. Remember, pi always has to appear in your answer. And that's about it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email myself, Ms. Kimmick. Um, we'll definitely try to help you tomorrow. We do have meetings in the morning for professional development, um, but we are an email away. Um, I'll probably be holding an office hour at some point tomorrow in the afternoon. If you have any questions, please, please email me. All right. Have a great day.